I found out I was pregnant in the downstairs toilet of a McDonald's. A week before, I'd been complaining slash boasting about how big my boobs had got and how bloated I felt. Totally naively, it hadn't crossed my mind I could possibly be pregnant. I hadn't had sex for months and my periods had been irregular since I'd come off the implant. But after my buddy brought it up jokingly, the possibility planted itself in my brain and it sat there, worrying away. As soon as I peed on my stick, it said pregnant. Like I was super, super, super pregnant. Almost instantly, I was very keenly aware of a little bean inside my belly that I hadn't been. My entire body and brain had found a new focus, and I couldn't stop thinking about the bean inside my belly. It's amazing what a stick covered in pee can do. And as sacred and totally glorious it felt to know you made a tiny little life and it was growing day by day in your body, the thought that just kept running through my brain was, I hope this bean is small enough to come out because I wasn't ready, in no fit state to provide the sort of life I want to give my baby. I told only a few people, my flatmate who came to watch me pee on my second stick, my boss who let me take the time off work, and who convinced me to tell my mum and the boy, an ex-boyfriend still very much on the scene. Those were the tricky, emotional conversations. Initially, I planned not to tell either of them, but I'm pleased I let them in. I needed help to pick up the pieces. Thankfully, the process was quick. An emergency appointment with the doctor for a referral, an appointment the next day for consultation and treatment. I went with my mum. We're very close, but we've never spoken about sex. So sitting in an abortion clinic was a pretty big step for us. Abortion, such an ugly word. They turned the screen away from me during the ultrasound. My bean was too big for the pill. It was three months big and needed to be taken out surgically. Another word that sticks in the throat. Walking into the room for the procedure, I was struck by how clinical the whole thing felt. I don't know what I was expecting, but the setup felt very intimidating and very serious. It was a small scale operating theatre with bright lights, a table, and a rather gruesome set of stirrups. The surgeon was a man the anaesthetist too. I was quickly manoeuvred into position and knocked down. It didn't feel like a place for helping women in their hour of need. It felt like a conveyor belt. One image really sticks in my mind, a memory that I can't fully trust but is so visually complete it must have come from somewhere, of a hazard sign in a bin for human waste. I really hope my bean didn't go in a bin but it must have done, with all the other beans from all the other women and girls who couldn't and wouldn't have a child. I came to in a room filled with armchairs occupied by other sad and broken women, and I was very keenly aware that I had lost something, something I was only aware of for a very short time, but that I was going to miss terribly, and I was in such pain. The next few months passed as a series of internal battles, totally giving in to grief and sadness versus pretending to be fine. I remember a meal out with some of my closest friends. Everyone was chatting away, talking about boys and dates and jobs, and one of my friends was like, what's new with you? What's the goss? And I just burst into tears because the biggest thing that had happened to me, I didn't feel I could share. My dad. He is so proud of everything I do, but he's conservative and grew up in a time when abortions were illegal and nice girls didn't get pregnant. I know it would devastate him, so I keep it a secret and I carry that shame around. Why should we still feel shame? I have never regretted my decision. It was 100% the right thing to do for me. But the secrecy surrounding abortion a word made so ugly no one dare utter it. The secrecy is brutal and crushing. Six months on, I feel stronger, less prone to random spurts of tears. I've tried purposefully not to think about when this bean would have been born, but I suppose it would have been about now. And that does make me sad. As to seeing mothers with their little ones, dads too, and I know that I will never be able to look at a sonogram until it's of a baby I'm ready to have.